Hello, this is Keen here. This is a brand new series. This is me reading my favorite play. Now, it is surprising to me that this is so unknown given it's this author's first tragedy, first Roman tragedy, and first play that he used that actually had Roman characters in a Roman setting. You might know that one of his famous plays, if not the most famous play he ever wrote, was a Roman tragedy, that being Romeo and Juliet. This is William Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus, which I believe is the most disgusting, vile, gruesome, and vulgar play ever written. It really makes you think what type of mind William Shakespeare was and when writing it. Now, I will give you the reading in Acts, all five of them, some are drastically shorter than others. But before I give you those, I shall give you in this installation the character list. Titus Andronicus, a Roman general. Lavinia, poor Lavinia, his daughter. His sons include Lucius, Mutius, Martius, and Quintius. And then young Lucius is his grandson. Marcus Andronicus is Titus's brother, and his son is Publius. Titus's kinsmen include Saprunus, Caius, and Valentine. Saturnus is the eldest son of the former Roman emperor, and Saturnus's younger brother is Bassianus. Now then, Tamora is the queen of the Goths, and then later the empress of the Goths. Her lover is Aaron the Moor. Then Tamora's sons, Tamora's sons are Alaribus, Demetrius, and Charon. Amelius is a important Roman nobleman, and then the rest of the characters are mainly background characters, but they do have some influence on the story, such as the messenger, the nurse, the Roman captain, the first goth, and the second goth. And then there are other characters, such as the background, as in the tribune, senators, Romans, Goths, drummers, trumpeters, soldiers, guards, attendants, and a singular child. Thank you, and I shall give you Act 1 of Titus Andronicus to you soon in spine-chillingly gruesome detail.